in this illustration, we will analyze the collision of one hydrogen atom with another. Here we are given that a hydrogen atom moving with the speed v collides with another hydrogen atom kept at rest, and we are required to find the minimum value of v for which one of the atoms may get ionized, and we can take the mass of hydrogen atom given here. Here in solution, we can see we are given that one hydrogen atom is at rest, and another hydrogen atom is moving with the speed v collides with the hydrogen atom at rest. Here in this situation, we are required to find the minimum value of v for which one of the atom may get ionized. So here first we calculate the maximum possible energy loss in this collision, and we have studied that the maximum possible energy loss takes place so when the collision is considered to be perfectly inelastic. So here we can write if perfectly inelastic collision take place, we use the initial momentum is mv, if m is considered to be the mass of hydrogen atom, after collision both would be moving, here say collision occurs and finally the two are moving with the common speed vf, this is for inelastic collision. So, in this situation, we can write the final momentum would be 2m vf, which gives us vf is equals to v by 2. So, in this situation, we can calculate the maximum possible loss in energy is delta El can be written as initial energy was half m v square minus final kinetic energy is half. 2m v by 2 square, which is equals to 1 by 4 m v square, and we can say for one of the atoms to get ionized, this energy must be utilized in form of ionization energy to get ionized. Here we use this 1 by 4 mv square should be equals to 13.6 electron volt, which is the ionization energy of a hydrogen atom. So, any one atom may absorb this energy, which is stored in form of internal energy of the two hydrogen atoms as ionization energy and will get ionize. Now, in this analysis, we will get the value of v square is 4 into 13.6 into this 1.6 into 10 to power minus 19 divided by the mass of hydrogen atom we are given as 1.67 into 10 to power minus 27 kilogram. On simplifying, this will give us 52.12 into 10 to power 8. On taking the square root, we get the value of V as 7.22 into 10 to the power 4 meters per second, that is the result of this problem.